you have a tasting menu that is fairly interesting. Uh, would I like me to interest you with uh, some uh, wines from, uh, well, since uh, we're uh, having the fourth anniversary of ASI, I would have liked you to uh, have, uh, and we're in Argentina, I would have liked to discuss and maybe suggest some wine from uh, the Americas. I think it would be a very great experience tonight. To start uh, with the, the ceviche of the sea, there's a uh, salmon, sea bream, and tuna. We could have started uh, with, uh, since there is uh, some tuna, we could have gone uh, with a uh, sparkling uh, rosé, uh, Bimpar Salmon, uh, well, Bimpar Salmon is from Argentina, of course, could have been a great option, but I want to go back to basic, like ones from uh, America. I would have liked uh, to, to suggest uh, uh, rosé could be a great adventure, and um, we could go uh, with a uh, sparkling, uh, non cuvenapa rosé, that could have been a, a very nice pairing of freshness and of elegance. Um, it's really because of the tuna that I'm going on the rosé. Otherwise, we could have gone on some uh, white sparkling if you feel like it. Are you okay with the suggestion of, of sparkling rosé? Great. With uh, the artichoke tortilla with the mustard sauce, I have to say that our chef gives us a little bit kind of work to do. Uh, mustard and artichoke are always a tricky, tricky pairing. Um, I would have liked to suggest a wine uh, based on, uh, with the artichoke, what usually is the best pairing for me is, is Riesling. Uh, the acidity of the Riesling can be such a great, a great experience. And uh, I would have liked to suggest uh, Riesling from uh, Canada. Canada is also part of America, as you know, and uh, I'm really in love with those wines. So I have to uh, maybe just discuss the idea of having a Riesling from K Spring Vineyard, the CSV Cuvée Vintage 2005. It's, uh, it's a wine that is that is dry. It's a high-end Cuvée of K Spring. It's in Niagara Peninsula, very fresh, very lean. As usually with the artichoke, as I was saying, if eventually you prefer going simply with some water because it's a tough pairing, I would understand, but let me, uh, let me let you try and get a glass of that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great experience. Yeah, but right after, uh, rib of beef, onion puree with red wine, and uh, eggplant caviar. This for me is crying, screaming Argentinian wine. Uh, we, I don't know if you tried beef lately from Argentina, it's fantastic. Uh, and if you need great suggestions for a restaurant, that's your good leave. I would, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, some. Uh, so with the uh, rib of beef, I would uh, recommend an Argentinian Malbec uh, from uh, the region of Mendoza, vintage 2006, from the Italian family Zucardi. Zucardi is a great family. They're Italian uh, to start with. They're based in Mendoza. They do, they do great and well-balanced uh, Malbec. And it's going to be a lovely pairing with the Côte de Boeuf, so I recommend that you have it, if you like it, rare. For the, the, the blood eventually just work on those tannins and, and make your one even more charming. 